Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I set up my bullet journal for October. And first I wanted to mention thank you guys so so much for all of your support and kindness on my last plan with me video. We actually reached a thousand subscribers since then, which was super super exciting for me. So thank you guys so so much. I also posted a little like chatty painting video. So if you haven't seen it and want to watch it, I'll leave a link in the description as well. First, I just wanted to do a little flip through of my September spreads and I definitely used my bullet journal a lot in September. So I think that's a good sign that simplifying was definitely the right choice for me. And so October is also going to be very simple and minimal. I recently bought some acrylograph pens by Archer and Olive, which are just acrylic pens like the name suggests, and I wanted to try them out for this month. So I'm using a light kind of peachy yellow, a darker like mustardy yellow, and also a really dark red because I just thought those were the perfect colors for the theme, which is gonna be kind of like a, I guess, fall field with uh, some grains and just some plant doodles. First of all, I wrote the title just October with a black Muji gel pen and I actually ended up covering this up with the dark red later on, but I really enjoy spacing out my letters quite a lot, so that's what I'm doing here. Then to decorate the title, I decided to go for kind of like a wreath um, design, so I used the two yellow shades for some plant doodles. I basically switched between a grain type of plant and a simple like leafy plant so that it gives it a bit more variation and texture. I tried to kind of vary the length of each one and the direction it's growing in so that it just looks a bit more balanced. I also alternated between the two colors just so that it doesn't look too monotone. Then I also added a little bow with the dark red, I just thought it looked really cute. And then I also added a bunch of dots in the two yellow shades just to kind of fill in the empty space. Underneath I'm adding a little mini calendar, so first I used the light yellow as a background for the weekdays. And then I just used the black Muji gel pen to write um, on top of it and also to write the date underneath. I do have to mention that the Muji gel pen definitely smudges if you put it onto the acrylograph pens, which you'll see a little bit later on in my habits. But yeah, on the left side of the calendar, to balance out the placement of the calendar since it's not perfectly centered, I drew another plant doodle in the darker yellow shade. And then to fill in the empty space of the calendar, I used the dark red. And then here you can see me going over the title in the dark red. I just thought it looked a little bit better with the red instead of the black. Now in case you saw my September setup, you're gonna notice that this one is pretty similar um, just from you know placement and layout because it honestly just worked really well for me. So I decided to just kind of stick to it. And so here on the right page, I'm adding a few sections. Um, just to plan my events, my tasks, um, any ideas I might have, and also my study goals. And then all the way on the bottom, I also added my usual YouTube and Instagram growth trackers. For the titles, I alternated between the lighter and the darker yellow shade. And then I also added a little doodle in the lower right corner of each box. And to add a border, I actually used a ruler all throughout the spread and also the dark red shade. Now something else to keep in mind if you do have the acrylograph pens is that they don't dry immediately so you have to be a bit more careful when you use a ruler because it can smudge pretty easily. But yeah, you're gonna see this style of kind of box and layout in my weekly spread as well. I really like thinking of just one type of box or layout just to keep the whole spread consistent. So then moving on to my next page, I again did my habits like with last month and here I'm first writing October habits in the dark red and then I split up my habits into daily, weekly and monthly like I've been doing for the last couple of months. I just personally really enjoy using this kind of habit tracker and for my daily habits again I'm using the same style of habit trackers that I usually do. I use the light yellow for a background for the titles and then the darker mustardy yellow um, for the weekdays underneath.
Again, as with my other sections, I use the dark red to add the shape of the calendar. As you can see, I also left some space in the middle of the habits. I only have four daily habits at the moment because I don't want to track too much. So I just filled the space with more doodles. And one thing I really, really enjoy about the acrylograph pens um, is that you can layer them really well. So you don't have to worry about the order of putting down your colors. You can put a lighter color over a darker color as well. And in my opinion, it gives it a lot more dimension that way. So yeah, as you can see here, I definitely smudged um, the titles a lot with my daily habits here. So I covered up the title and tried to kind of fix the little smudges on the calendars as well. And then I ended up switching to the Tombow Fudinos K for the titles instead. Underneath I wrote my weekly habits, and so here I wrote the habits in the light yellow, and then I added five boxes for each week on the right side, and then I also added more doodles to fill in the space on the right as well. Again, like with last month, I placed my monthly habits on the right side instead so that I can place the doodles on the left side and to me it makes the whole page just look a lot more balanced. On the right side, I again added a study section, but this time I actually switched up the way that I'm tracking my study goals. So first I'm doing a section for my Korean lessons and studying. So I decided to go for a different type of calendar. It's basically just two by two spaces. So every day has four squares, one of which is just for the date. And then in the other three, I'm going to be doing a color code that I can fill in each day. I don't know if you saw in my flip through, but I actually didn't study a lot in September and I think the main reason is that I don't really feel like doing a lesson each day. So this time I wanted to split up the kind of methods that I'm doing to study Korean. So for example, I can do lessons on a website, Talk to Me in Korean, which is the first one. The second one is studying vocabulary. And then the third one would just be watching a movie, um, watching a show or just listening to a podcast. And I think that's gonna motivate me a lot more to just study a little bit every day. It doesn't have to be a whole lesson and stuff. So I thought that would be a lot more helpful. And then underneath that, I also did the same thing for kind of like art or illustration studies. So again, I have three different subjects, I guess, that I'm studying. The first one is anatomy. The second one is like gesture drawings. And the third one is just studying from another artist, which I definitely want to do a lot more in the future as well. And so as you can see, I have three spaces for each day where I could technically put all of the colors in or just one color or nothing at all, just depending on what I study that day. So yeah, and then on the bottom, I had some more space and I couldn't really think of what I wanted to put there. So I just wrote a little quote and it just says, and all at once, summer collapsed into fall, which I thought was obviously very fitting. And again, I'm adding more doodles on the sides to fill in the empty spaces and just to tie it in with the whole page. And yeah, I really like the way this whole spread turned out. So then moving on to my last spread, which is my first weekly spread of October. Like I said in the beginning, I kind of chose one style of box and that's pretty much what I did for this weekly spread as well. So I started off by writing the weekday in the darker mustardy yellow and I kind of spaced out the boxes of the days um, so that two are on top of each other and then the two next to them are a little bit lower and then the next two again are a little bit higher 
you're gonna see it a lot better when I add the borders and stuff but like I mentioned before I pretty much just go for the same sort of layout for my weekly spreads just because it works the best for me and yeah Here I'm adding a little circle on the right side for the dates and then I also added uh, some plant doodles on the bottom right just like I did on my second page. And again, I'm also adding the borders and the red, and I just left a bunch of gaps uh, between the weekday, the date, and also the doodle. So with this layout, you get a bunch of little sections, which is perfect for me. I like to add a little mini calendar again on the top right here, and then I just added some little sections in the other spaces. On the bottom left I added a section for my Etsy orders and then the same thing goes for my weekly goals which I added in the top left of the right page. I just wrote the title in the light yellow and then I added the border in the dark yellow because I wanted to have some visual separation between my sections and also my weekdays. Then I added a bit of a bigger section for my tasks in the same sort of style and then I filled the last space with just some more doodles to tie it all together. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this spread turned out. I really like the colors and I'm definitely going to be using the acrylic graphs in the future as well. And the whole spread was really fun to create. Um, it was really simple to do and it didn't really take a lot of time. But I'm looking forward to creating my weekly spreads. And yeah, if you want to see them, definitely follow me on Instagram at Art and Bujos. And if you like this video, definitely consider becoming a part of our little growing community. We'd love to have you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.